Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial of uh, PostgreSQL. In this tutorial, I will tell you how to insert values in the tables that we created last time. Last time we created two values that were that two tables that was uh, company and uh, department table. So today I will tell you how to insert uh, values into those tables. So first of all, we will just connect to our database with the password that we used. You could just store password from now so that we don't need to enter it again and again and you could just okay click on databases and this is the test database that we created and if you open the test and see the schemas we see that we have two tables that is the company and the department table that we created last time so you would just open this and we see the company company has five columns that is ID, name, age, address, and salary. So today we will insert these values into the company uh, in the, into the company table, and we can see the department table now. And we see it has three columns: that is ID, department, and employee ID. So we will insert the values. So first of all, I will be using the SQL editor for this. Now you could also use this this can be achieved from the SQL shell as well you could just connect by backslash C like you connect it to the table and then you could insert the data with the same query that I am that I will run now so basically there are two methods to insert the data in the table so first of all is that if you want to insert the data in order wise like we have a specific order for our data so we will use this query so this will be insert into company that is our order like uh, order will be first of all i will insert the id then i will insert the name then i will insert the age then address then the salary now these are the variables that you declared while creating the table if you could recall and you have to mention the same names here now I will put the values values that is ID is 7 name would be Rahul and every string character or any string any character data would be in single quotes you have to take care of this every time and age and uh, like integer values and the real values they don't need to have these things so age would be 20 address could be Kolkata and salary is 50,000 so you could just run this query by this green execute query button and you see that uh, I have an output that is query returned successfully one row affected now if you really want to check that you have uh, entered it successfully or not so i will tell you a method that uh, will allow you to check whether you have uh, successfully done it or not but we will discuss about this in the later tutorials so you could just check with this method that is select star star here means everything like every each and everything of the table it will be selected we will discuss about this uh, at a later stage from company and you run it and you see that I have this value inserted here so for the second method I will tell you that uh, if you want to insert the data in the order that is already defined like you want to insert the data in this fashion only like first you will insert ID then name then age then address then salary then you could use this order if you want to shuffle the order like you want to insert the name first the ID second then you could use the method that uh, I have taught you right now but if you want to insert the data in order wise then you could just use this that is insert into company and just write values you don't need to define the properties or the order in which you will assign the values just write values and just straight away write the values that is 4 and uh, 
Priya, ages 24, Delhi, and 30,000. So just execute this, and you see I have it again that one row has been affected. And you could check it again now. That is select star from company. Now you see I have two values as you could see. Now another thing that you could consider is that uh, if you want to insert uh, multiple data at a single time in a table, you could use this method that is insert into company values. You could insert uh, one, suppose uh, Sunil, age is 12, address is Mumbai and uh, 30,000. Now the second thing is that you could place a comma and again you could do the same. You could insert the same values like you could just copy and paste it here and you could just change the values that is 2 and uh, Hina and 16 Mumbai 30,000 okay you could execute and you see now that this time I have two rows affected and you could just check it that is uh, select star from company and you will see that uh, I have the values inserted now so I had inserted two values at the same time so this is another method that you could insert data and the simplest method now that I would teach you to insert data would be the GUI method it is available in the PG admin dashboard that is you could just close this query say no you could just open the PG admin 3 and you see that uh, we have tables that is company and department just select company and you see this board that is view the data in the selected object click on this and you see that I have all the data represented in the graphical form I could just enter by entering a number that is 5 and uh, this could be uh, Rashi suppose age would be 34 it would be Bangalore and it, this would be 4000 now see I have this data entered straight away so thank you for watching this tutorial subscribe for more and stay tuned